Welcome to UTRGV Radio News. I'm Albert Monroy. And I'm Hannah Lopez. It is great to be back with you. We hope you had a great first week. Starting off our newscast, our very own Albert Monroy reports on the possibilities of UTRGV's very own football team. The NFL season starts in September, but it'll take longer than that for UTRGV to break into the world of college football. A recent feasibility study by College Sports Solutions showed support for the adoption of a UTRGV football team, as well as potential issues on funding, construction, and equality for male and female sports. Construction of a new stadium alone is estimated at over $11 million, with annual upkeep ranging from $3.2 to $4.8 million. And aside from funding, there is also the question of where the stadium will be built, which sophomore Angel Marine suggests should be built between Edinburgh and Bronzeville. It should be placed in between, even though I don't know like what exact area, because I'm not like a geologist or anything like that. So it would be pretty, yeah, it would be something, it would actually be pretty great to have our own football stadium. UTRGV Radio also interviewed senior Manises Cepeda, who says the university getting its own football team might be dangerous. I think it would be a super awesome opportunity for people in the Valley for scholarship, scholarship plays, you know. Mm -hmm. A lot of people have been wanting football here in this area for school, but I don't know, there's, it's a lot of money going into it. Stuff is going to be transferred that would have been funded for one thing, would have, it's going to go towards the stadium, towards the team and all that, you know, transportation and all that scholarship, so I see it as a, a huge finance, financial risk, you know. The University of Texas San Antonio announced their football team in 2008 and began playing in 2011. If UTRGV takes UTSA as an example, we may see Vaqueros on the gridiron in the near future. I'm Al Monroy for UTRGV Radio News. No Place Like Home found its way to the Valley, and Natalie Zarate gives us more info on the organization. An organization based in Atlanta, Georgia, for asylum seekers from the Middle East and Greece has now shifted gears to the Texas border. No Place Like Home, typically an idiom used in the English classes or in the Wizard of Oz, is an organization that provides the essentials for people who have no place to call home. Director and co-founder of MPLH, Nicole Cook, has this message for all fellow RGV students and families. Local folks to drop, drop off the items that are most needed. We are taking donations right now. Um, so anyone local who wanted to help either contribute to our current fundraiser or organize their own fundraiser, we'd be happy to help someone who wanted to do that to help the respite center get the materials that they need to provide their services. I, th I would say those are the ways that someone can help our organization. And I would say the best way is just to follow us on Facebook because we try to do a good job of, you know, posting um, ways that people can help there. No Place Like Home heads to McAllen, Texas, was hosted from August 18th through August 22nd. Although the event is over, the need for helping hands never ends. Make sure to check out the No Place Like Home Facebook page for more information as how you can help. I'm Natalie El Sarate for UTRGV Radio News. Hannah Lopez reports of seniors near ending of their chapter at UTRGV. The first week of classes is officially over. Emotions were everywhere, and students were too. We started off the week with office depots, picnic with the president, UTRGV day, and ended it with a home game. For freshmen, it was a different experience, but for seniors, it was bittersweet. UTRGV Radio interviews Daniela Pasos, senior at UTRGV, and she tells us how she feels about starting the next chapter in her life. I am. I'm very excited to like uh, pursue the, my career and stuff like that, and actually be in a workplace where I, I've always, you know, like where my goal has been. For seniors, it was their last first week of school. And here is some advice from Daniela for incoming freshmen at UTRGV. Just don't be shy. Everyone says like, oh, in college you're all by yourself. And it might seem like that at first, but there's really a lot of help. You just have to really go out there and seek that help. No one's going to really take you by the hand and tell you what people to speak to. You just have to go and look that on your own, but there is help. If you have any questions, it's not just all by yourself. We hope the rest of the year goes smooth for our students at UTRGV. This was Hannah Lopez for UTRGV Radio News. Manuel Lerma reports on UTRGV's men's soccer home opener against Purdue Fort Wayne. Men's soccer kicked off the season with their home opener against the Purdue Fort Wayne Mastodons. Unfortunately, late goals by Lopez Frank and Berenkowski of Purdue led to a 3 to 1 loss. Coach Paul Lees gives some post game comments. We created a lot of chances, which was good, um, but we didn't score them. And um, you know, in general, I think that was because that was the first time you know that we had Kyle, you know, Kyle Edwards, Will, Akio, Bryce Box, and, and Yako Hayesville playing together for the first time in a competitive game. 
The Vaqueros got off to a strong start with a goal by number 13, Bryce Box, just 2 minutes, 35 seconds into the match. Their next game is set for Sunday, September 2nd at 10.30 a.m. This is Manuel Lerma for UTRGV Radio Sports, signing off. And now for this week's bulletins. Hello Vaqueros, this is Hannah Lopez with your Valley Weather. For Bronzo temperatures in the beginning of the week will stay moderate in the mid-90s. As for rain, starting Tuesday, the chance reaches 40% and rises throughout the week. For Edinburgh, temperatures stay in the mid and high 90s with a 20% chance of rain in the beginning of the week, leading to a 60% chance of rain towards the end. Remember to keep your umbrella close by and have a wonderful second week. The Student Union will be holding a billiards tournament free of charge on September 5th in the game from noon until 2 p.m. The UTRGB Ballroom will be the site of Rhythm Night on Thursday, September 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. where students can dance to different styles of music. Don't miss Late Night at the Rec. This will be taking place on September 13th from 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Rec in Bronzel. All students are invited to enjoy free food, entertainment, games, and giveaways. You will also learn about everything the facility and recreation programs offer on both the Edinburgh and Bronzel campus. Hey Vaqueros, join the Edinburgh Arts Foundation for their fourth annual South Texas International Film Festival. It will be held from Wednesday, September 5th till Saturday, September 8th, starting at 10 a.m. each day. This year's festival includes various workshops, celebrity guests, film screening, and much more. Check out the Edinburgh Arts Foundation Facebook page for more information. Lunata Artisans Market will be hosting their monthly movie in the park. This will be free admission and will take place on September 15th from 6 p.m. To 10 p.m. They will be selling food, art, and much more. All you have to bring is your chair or your blanket. This is located at Linear Park, E6 Street, and E Ringgold in Brownsville, Texas. Hope to see you there. On September 4th at 6 p.m., UTRGV Volleyball will face off against University of the Incarnate Word at home. Men's soccer kicks off at 7 p.m. for their home opener against the Purdue Fort Wayne Macedons. To keep up with all news and schedules, head to goutrgv.com for updates. And that's all for this week's UTRGV radio newscast. If you have a story idea, contact us at radio at utrgv.edu. From all of us here at UTRGV Radio News, thank you for listening.